Well, this is what the mess looks like trying to install the home network's Bluetooth speaker exhaust fan for a bathroom. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the old fan. And so and we also had to increase the duct work as well um, from a three inch to a four inch. Um, local stores didn't carry three inch piping or fittings. So we had to put it up four inch and increase the hole to the outside of the house to a four inch. Um, the piping and getting it connected to the wires wasn't the problem. It was figuring out the wiring was the problem. Um, we have four separate wires coming in um, with only one hot. So we found out that with the two switches that we had, we had one hot coming in connected to other um, black wires, which lightened up the vanity light, the recess light, and the light for the fan. And then one switch was just to turn the fan on. So, um, after reading a very good book, I recommend, and the wiring simplified, and also YouTube's, just to get the kind of generalization of it. Um, the, some of the older models has the turn dial or has the two yellow wires where you have to run your own electricity or your own, own yellow wires from the switch to the fan. But this is the apparently the latest model. And most housing has the wiring where it has the red, the black, the white, and the ground. Unfortunately, we found out that this, the red wiring casing and the black, white, and ground was also just the only for this here. Nothing else in the house has this wiring setup. The fan only has the green, the black, and the white. Which typically tells you to go from white to white, black to black, and ground to ground. But then, where's the red? So, um, according to the diagram of the book, um, all this has to do, this has to come from the light switch. So it didn't matter if I hooked up to the red wire or the black wire, because it's just, there's no energy or it's not hooked up to anything else. It's just a wire going from there to the switch. We connected the, the neutrals to the other bundle of neutrals and the light switch, and then we also connected the ground to the rest of the ground at the at the switch box as well. So that made it a lot more simple to make it work. When, when we originally hooked it up to just the way the other two switches were, the light this light switch here would only turn on would turn everything on, and then. Um, but also would turn on the fan and the light and everything else that would power this as well, this switch. You just couldn't run this switch and this switch independently. So, um, going on YouTube and looking at how to use a voltmeter, one of the guys, uh, actually for, for household wiring, was able to find out, because I, I have some basic knowledge of construction and electrical, but I don't have in-depth knowledge. So the YouTube videos kind of helped out to refresh my memory to find out. And that's how we found out only one set of black wire as a power and only one for one bundle, which was this bundle, this one right here. So by separating this here, because this came was hooked into here and it was just a mess. So what we did was is we went directly to power and then a ground from here to there because then upgraded from the old switch, just two, two ports, no ground whatsoever to uh, a grounding um, switch. And so now that we have power going to this here and then um, the switch going the coming into so the power it's the same power going mm -hmm. into both switches yep so we got power coming in here and power coming to here but this switch will control the vanity and the recessed light and, that, and then so now we have complete control there's the night light off and the light and yes the fan works and then also music works as well. And it just takes a second to connect, not long at all. And then 
and the speakers are inside. And you can control the volume with your phone. And everything else has been fairly easy. It's just figuring out your household wiring. Um, you yourself are the only one that knows about your household wiring. So the only thing I recommend is get in the book and uh, do some research on YouTube on, and get a, um, a simple voltmeter. This is a little more complex, but I'd say a little bit more simpler than that. Um, that has an auto range for um, AC current and DC current. And we also had to do a continuity test, make sure the wires that were in here were also the wires that are coming out of the ceiling to verify our theory. Because if we had hot going to that and to that, and we just didn't want to burn up the motor or burn up the switch or catch your house on fire. So we had to do a continuity test of the wires first, which meant that checking the wire from there and checking the wire there and make sure there's continuity and no um, um, electricity. Um, so we found that out and we put everything together. We put our banger heads together and then uh, figured it out. And now... So we got the green going to the ground. This red ended up going with this black. Which is the black coming out of the ceiling which going comes, into the fan. That's going into the fan. And then we have the white, which is the neutral, which is also the in the neutral fan. neutral in the fan. And then this black is getting the power from the house to turn the switch on to right. activate the fan. Right. And then this is just an in and an out for the light switch, the vanity and the inset. What did you call Re it? Recess. Recess light. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Good luck. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take you two days. <laughs> Actually, I did it from about 8.30 this morning till um, about 7. So almost 12 hours a day. Had to go to Home Depot twice. Um, I actually had to eat about a little after 3 o'clock today. I was hungry. I didn't have breakfast, didn't have a snack. I just got up and started working on it. Worked on it for um, two and a half hours, three hours yesterday. Um, and that was mainly just getting everything prepped. And then today, the wiring, my gosh. Um, mainly the wiring, cutting the holes outside, cutting the, the hole in the ceiling. And hooking that up was no problem. But spent a lot of time on the wiring. So I wish you guys the best of luck.